Military is a separate social, you know, social economic uh, uh, system. They have their, they have everything for their own people. Today, uh, the junta issued uh, through different regional commands, eleven point strategy to crack down. The top one is, uh, you know, uh, you're making sure that army families are fed and they are cared for medically. And, you know, they withdrew the police, even civ uh, you know, police, to do community policing from doing their own job. That's why, you know, the, uh, the neighborhoods are setting up their own neighborhood uh, uh, watch at night. So the military... Today, I saw a video clip of a, a, a military commando threatening it individually, I'm going to be out at 11 p.m. tonight on patrol. I'm going to have guns and other weapons, and I'm going to shoot and kill anyone. The sense of invisibility, the sense of impunity, you know, both domestically and internationally is so overwhelming. I think the sanctions are not enough. I think that this is the organized, the coup group particularly that has committed genocide against Rohingya, that is waging wars against other non-Muslim minorities, and that is now threatening to use overwhelming force against unarmed civilian population. They need to be designated terrorist group. Right. Well, thank you for sharing your perspective with us and um, telling us more, of course, about your experience as well. Mang Zani joining us there.